Excellent. Welcome back. And um, now we are starting this one of the sessions I look very much forward to because we can prepare for that. So that's always fun. Um, and we have, let me see, I think I wrote it down. I think we have 15 minutes approximately for Ask Us Anything. So that will be a interactive session. Um, so let's see what can go wrong here, technically. I think so far everything works just fine, uh, more or less. But um, yes, 15 minutes for Ask Us Anything. And I would like to please uh, be joined by my colleagues here on stage. Can, we, on stage. can you see us? We need Cern here. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, and uh, people, remember to raise your hand. Uh, then you can ask a question live, like a real human being, or you can ask a question in chat, or you can click Q and A. So um, please throw some questions uh, our way. No, oh, sorry, it's sound. We need sound to get in yeah. into the picture. That's why I moved out. <laughs> So it's mirrored. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So questions. Come please. on. Come on. Give us some. <laughs> we'll start asking you questions. There must be some. I think they're exhausted from the tech track. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah. I that's guess it. that's it. Come on, people. Maybe you should turn it around. So we will start asking the attendees questions. Maybe. Should we do that? We can give it a shot. Let's see what happens. <laughs> do we have any questions coming in? No. Come on. You must have questions coming in. I can talk about uh, one we got on the tech track while, yeah. we, while we wait. Please do. Can you hear me OK uh, here? Maybe I'll just oh, sorry. you. Yeah, here. Sorry. I'll just, yeah, yeah. Thank you. So, um, one of the questions we got on the tech track is when can we expect the condo transition to be done? So everything moved to the new UIs. And the re response to that was by the end of 2021, <laughs> because we have a lot of stuff that we need to do. Um, one thing, and if you look at our roadmaps, that's reflected there. But one thing that's important to tie into that is one of the things that Hanno mentioned during the, uh, during the uh, welcome bit of this part of summit. And that's the fact that we need to grow. So, uh, so we do not expect those timeframes to hold. We actually expect to be able to do more as we gear up on the development side of things. Uh, so just when you look at roadmaps and when you think about it the way it looks now, we are expecting a, a sort of a more rapid rollout as we grow the team. But this is what it looks like right now if we don't make any changes at all. Something to add, Kono? No. Okay. Um, now there's questions. So. Yes, now we do have questions. <laughs> Oh, of course. First of all, uh, Paul, the meta from Arlenet asks, when do we get our e-commerce t-shirts? Well, come up and visit us when you can. And, uh, and we'll, we'll give you all the t-shirts you need. Um, and you're absolutely correct. We do not have um, unified t-shirts, but that's because the t-shirts are solving different problems, just like our platform, you know? So that's the reason why. <laughs> So it's not a unified experience, that's right, but we don't want to be Shopify. We want to be flexible and extendable, that's why. Um, Good save. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, second, a question from Jens Josef Josefsen from Webmind. Uh, is there a new version of Accelerate? Thank you very much, Jens, for that question. I actually made a note earlier that I forgot to mention that we do have a new version of Accelerate coming up. So Accelerate being the um, accelerator for um, for Umbraco, yeah, for Umbraco, um, and it is as we speak in QA, and I think in a couple of weeks we know when uh, we will be able to release Accelerate. So, uh, very good question, Jens. Thank you very much. And I can uh, I can actually add as part of the um, the development of Accelerate, we've gotten some great feedback from uh, from WebMind. Uh, so some of the things you saw uh, during the, uh, the roadmap talk around images and content being linked to, uh, to products, that was actually direct feedback from that development process that we were able to fold back into the product. So uh, whenever you're building something, it doesn't have to be you know a product, but just a, a, a product project rather, keep that feedback coming. It's very important to us. 
Yes, I agree. And you know, as a, in general, please keep you know our relationship as active as possible. We need a lot of feedback. Uh, if we haven't received honest, brutal honest feedback uh, a year ago, I don't think we would have been the same place as we are now. Um, so it's actually thanks to you guys um, that we are where we are because we got honest, brutally honest uh, feedback, and that made us able to make some very um, some tough decisions, but also some very clear, uh, clear decisions on, on where we should head. So um, that's actually thanks to, to our partners. So thank you for that. And it would probably make sense if you uh, added a few words to the Kentico relationship we discontinued around this time last year, just to free up some bandwidth things. Yes. So uh, yeah, it's just a, a, a we'll just be repeating that we that we kind of uh, the match wasn't there, so we uh, we skipped the partnership um, and we, we we left each other on, on good terms. Um, um, yeah, and that created some some bandwidth for us. Also, you know, making this this transition able or uh, possible. So, questions. Ah, uh, I think this is not for me. Um, I'll just repeat the question. So it's from Anthony Halliday. Along with all the breaking code changes in V9, are there any breaking DB schema changes? Who's that? Is that Morton? <laughs> uh, I can I can answer yes, um, and I believe there are no DB schema changes uh, in V9. If you at least if you come from V8 to to V9, but I'm I'm pretty sure there will be um, going forward when we revamp the, the definition system in Q1. Yeah, yeah, and uh, I can add a little something to that. Sure. Um, one of the things we found building out the new UIs is that um, we can actually su support some new capabilities around how catalogs and stores are connected to each other, which will require a little bit of DB, you know, changes to make it go. But it will add some more flexibility. So I'm, I'm I firmly believe that it's worth it, and that will be coming up uh, sort of in a future version. But as always with the data, we will migrate it automatically for you whenever we can. So we'll roll it forward for you, so the data will just sort of take the new shape and continue working like before. Actually, for you, Mark, could you please re repeat the question first? Uh, yes, from, uh, from Henning Bro. Have you any plans on doing code review on partner implementations to make sure uh, they are built correct? Um, I would, I would say, uh, say yes. Um, and actually, as part of, uh, of the new uh, partner model, um, where there are more um, um, support built into to the partnerships, at least if you if you get those, um, there there will be a lot of possibilities for us to help you make sure that the code has been uh, built in in a proper way, at least for the e-commerce side of things. Um, that's at least where we have the most knowledge, um, and yeah, otherwise you can also buy dedicated support for uh, for the purpose. Yeah. Yep. And if, uh, can I add to that? Because um, it's, as you know, in the new partner program, it's very important for us to uh, to make sure that everybody is qualified, and the, the 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 higher you get, the better stages you get. That we sure that, that you have the qualification to live to that, and that this is one of the means of ensuring that. So we have both the certifications and stuff like that, but we can also use uh, code review as a way of sort of qualifying partners to um, to the e-commerce platform. Yes, I agree. And while you are thinking about what to and how to answer the next question, I can add a little bit to it um, because we do, you know, we are aware that a lot of our powerhouses, a lot of our very, you know, uh, long time partners, they know a lot about the platform. And we also do know that um, some of the, the, the benefits we have in our partner program, they don't need that as, as much. You don't need that as much. But I think, for example, maybe not uh, a code review, but I think you should, you know, reach out, and then I think we should spend time on, on actually building on each other. Meaning, having some some meetings where we go through solutions and have some, you know, much higher level discussions on how to utilize uh, e-commerce better, and also um, using this as an opportunity for you guys to be able to influence the platform and the future roadmap. Uh, so maybe you don't need help, but uh, please, you know, please spend the time with us uh, anyway, because it'll only get better for, for all of us. And then we have a, a question more. 
Your yeah, time, yeah. I, oh, I thought it was a serve for you. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, again from Paul from Alanet, um, who asks uh, which vertical or go-to-market has been impacted most in general due to COVID. Looking at the e-commerce clients, and uh, yeah, just a reminder that we would very much like from you guys to tell us which clients you are working on, so we could answer that kind of question for from the sales that we don't get. Uh, but uh, but of course, looking at looking at the existing clients and the churn we have uh, from from clients uh, clients that is, that are leaving us, we can see the same thing as you see in 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 the general picture is that people who are working in tourist business, traveling business, and that kind of things are of course the one that's most infected. Uh, Looking at the complete picture in, in of all our clients, I don't. Um... Oh, okay. <laughs> There's all sorts of different comments coming up here. Um, of course, when we look at the, our general situation, we don't have been that much affected by the COVID. Um, in the sense that it's there's no significant trend that, uh, other than we see a lot of people trying to get online, trying to do um, uh, do more business. And that's that's the positive, positive thing, Paul, is that, of course, there's the market is growing. And, it, and I know you attended the last track where we discussed this with some of our partners. And I think the general feedback was that the market is expanding and people are moving projects from 2022 until 2020. In order to be uh, competitive in, in in the business. Okay, thank you. So, um, Paul, Jens, and Anthony, because you asked questions, you will get a T-shirt like this. And there's one more T-shirt. So, uh, last question, we'll get a T-shirt too. Last question, we'll get a T-shirt. Maybe I should ask the question. Get one more T-shirt. <laughs> You have enough. I have enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anything coming in, Elevator? Nope. Okay. So that was that was actually uh, that was actually uh, <laughs> cheap. Three T-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> ah, four. Henning too, by the way. <laughs> thank you. We do believe also that we look extremely cool. Um, thank you for these questions. I think we need to move on in order to 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 end the you know the whole summit on time.